Hey guys, my name is Mr. McCarthy and welcome to OMG2. Uh, OMG2 is a bus simulator where what you'd expect from it is you can drive buses around. Um, now, OMG is a German simulator, therefore uh, there are two default maps which are both in Germany. I think there's Berlin to somewhere and there's the, I think this is the Grundorf map. Um, <coughs> Grundorf is the, is like a little village where it, uh, the main route is just from this place here, which you, I don't know, like, wait, if I put this, this, this place here, what, Brandhof, I don't know, uh, uh, but, um, it goes to a hospital, which is called Fockenhof, um, that is the route that we're going to be taking today, uh, Brandhof to Krakenhof, and we're going to be doing a return journey, just simply because it's such a short journey, that there's literally no point in doing the single, so we're going to be doing the return, <coughs> So uh, let's let's go and uh, accept the timetable. So line seventy six, twelve one. Um, terminus Krakenhorst, and the time is nine fifty seven. And we have to be at Bernhof in ten minutes. Uh, don't worry. Uh, even though it is real time, we don't have to wait for ten minutes because I can just fix the right time when everything is set up. So let's click this button down here, and we're going to do a line seventy six, terminus of Krakenhorst. Now, let's, uh, let's hit the wheel down and uh, I'll show you how to set up the bus. Right, so this is how the bus would automatically come, I believe. I think all these levers would be down as well, but you put the key in and you turn on the electricity and makes that little weird sound. And uh, then you just power up the engine. Oh, this is... There you go, you hear the engine coming to life. Parking brake should be on, so we'll put that on while we're setting up. Um, we have the temperature, and uh, this is just controls the power of the temperature, so the temperature's down here, and uh, you don't want it to be too hot in some place on the passengers will complain. You can open the windows, like that, it's quite cool. Um, I've actually chosen the, uh, the double decker bus for this. There is a lot of different buses, a single bus, and bendy buses, double decker buses, all different generations, all have different technology. Now I made this a quite an old one, otherwise it would have an electronic um, temperature system, but uh, that's fine, I really like this bus. The door opens and closes for no apparent reason. Um, you can turn on where you give the tickets and the chains and stuff like that, but just simply because, uh, one, I don't want to have to mess around with stuff like that, and two, uh, I don't think I'm good enough at the game yet to be able to do stuff like that. So I had that turned off, I think it's turned off by default anyway. Um, so the bus uh, itself, uh, there's these buttons here which you put the station brake on and open the doors. But you have to pull the, uh, the wheel down to do it, but don't worry I have it all the time to hotkeys so I can just go bam and it will open and I can press it again to shut it. And there's space bar to center the camera, which is really handy as well. So, so let's program this thing in over here. Um, this is going to display if the ticket was on and it, I think it also shows up the top. Um, so, you click line and uh, it's already programmed there but you would type in 076000, press enter, which is what this translates to, root 01, enter, crack and horse will come up, um, and you'll hear that noise, uh, which means you're ready to go. <coughs> so, we can accelerate time, I think. Uh, to we'll do it to about six, oh, six forty. Give us a little bit of time. Bah. And uh, we'll oh, take the parking brake off. Put it into gear one, and we'll put. See, this is the first stop, and there's another one just around the other side of the roundabout. So uh, we'll just open the door here. And uh, down here, if you click timetable analytics, it says that we're too early, but that's from when we accelerated time, so it doesn't matter. Um, that will update the second that we go right into that uh, other bus stop. <coughs> so the time is 11 seconds past, which means we can depart this place, because uh, uh, we don't need to uh, be here if there's no passengers getting on. There was a passenger here just now. Damn it. I don't hear anyone. 
we'll stop her anyway, so the, uh, but, oh god, that's a horrible stop. But, just so that the, uh, the time table doesn't freak out and it's like, why didn't you stop here? Um, we'll stop, close the door straight away. Um, let's just make sure that we're on time. I'm not going to be checking this all the time. Burn half, burn half, yeah, alright. I don't think it even counted that we stopped there because we were so far away. Um, so we'll put it into neutral and I'm not sure how we, oh wait, neutral. I'm not actually sure how we, um, oh, wrong button. I'm not actually sure how we, like, default put it into neutral then reverse. But, um, there is a way. I think it's... Uh, bish, bosh. Um, don't worry, I wasn't saying, I think it's like that, because that would just be obvious, I was just, think, I was just saying, I was about to say something, and then I realised I had to change the gears, so, neutral, wheel back up, uh, station break, doors. You see, this isn't coming up, for some reason. It's weird, because we did stop over there. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let's get on the open road. I took the freaking parking lot. Oh, need to go into here. That probably helps. So I am quite a noob at this game. Ooh, Jesus, I am quite a noob at this game. <clears throat> but uh, I only have had the game for about three days, I think. So uh, I do need to. Um, I'm still learning rather rapidly. And now some things popping up which make it. Oh God, we didn't see that light there. Luckily there's no passengers on board, otherwise they'd be screaming and shouting at me because I, one, I went through a red light and two, I brake too hard. See, there's a load of passengers over there which are waiting to get on. Um, stay, yeah, see, this has changed to okay now. So that's good. And considering I've already gone through the red light. And uh, I am going to try, try and drive it uh, properly. I'm not just going to go through a load of red lights and stuff. So the passengers will move. Um, the passengers will move to like where you stop the bus as long as it's within range. But um, I thought, are these people going to get on as well? I'm not sure. I'll wait for them just because I'm nice like that. Uh, I have AI collisions turned off just simply because um, the AI in this game is stupid. So like, it'll just be waiting here, waiting for you to go past it, and then without warning it'll just pull out straight in front of you, or plow into the side of you, or something like that. But we'll wait for these uh, guys to pass, if they're not getting on the bus then I'll scream at them. <coughs> My voice is going to sound a little bit wobbly, because one I've just woken up to, I just had uh, something hot to eat, and uh, <coughs> I need to process it. <laughs> I know, right, these guys aren't getting on, so I'll scream at them. You stupid people! All right. <clears throat> so you can you can have uh, the I think it's tooltips turned on uh, with the little arrow and the question mark bottom uh, button, but um they just show you what route to go and what stops to stop at. But I have done this um, at quite a lot of times before. Uh, ooh, get a bit of FPS there. Um, I have done this route before before recording it. Um, that's a bit far away. I apologize, but you're gonna have to guys shall pull up. Boop. Um, before recording it, just so I didn't look like a doofus, or as much as a, as a doofus, um, uh, when I was doing, when I was recording it. Um, I'm, I'm having trouble getting my words out today. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and turn left at these traffic lights. I pretty much do know this uh, whole route off by heart, which is a bit noobish, but um, I don't know. So this guy is going to want to get off. Um, and when the uh, when you open the uh, front doors, if there's something waiting, if there's someone waiting to get off, um, then the back doors will automatically open. So that's, a, that's an extra bonus. Um, down there, it says what stops you have to stop at and what times. So that's handy. Right, we can go. I pressed the wrong button. See, this is one of those scenarios where the AI will like look like it's stopping for you, and then it will just plow into the side of you, like this guy. So 
so the next stop is just a bit. The stops are really frequent for a 10 minute journey. Um, but uh, I'm honestly not complaining at all. <laughs> more passengers means more passengers. Uh, more stops means more passengers to hack off. But all these people are getting off. Well, three people and two people are getting off. Now, something I've noticed is that people actually stop. Uh, get off at the one stop before. Wait, did I shut the doors? I didn't. That's unprofessional. I I keep using WAS and D uh, to drive, which is what I'm used to with, with some games. But um, it's actually uh, the number pad arrows, so I need to get used to that. And I'm not complaining about that because it it has like its own buttons, which is which makes it really easy. <coughs> like there's five in the middle of uh, eight, four, two, and six. Um, which centers via the wheel, which just makes things ten times easier. And uh, the seven and nine buttons are indicators, so that also makes it easy. So you'll see this button down here. Uh, this comes on when people want uh, you to. Uh, stop at the next stop. If there's no passengers here uh, and the light hasn't come on, then usually you don't have to stop at it. Um, but that just shows that people do want to get off there. I usually stop at them at all anyway, just in case I'm a little bit early and uh, there's still some people coming. But um, I don't think you have to. So that stop down there is. Sorry, I worked a bit too hard. That stop down there is where all these people are going to get off. Um, they never usually go around to the hospital. I think I've only ever took like one passenger around to the hospital before, because uh, I usually will get off at the um, at this place. Because the hospital is literally around the corner. You could throw a pebble to there. Anyway, Eichendorf Marketplace is where all these people are going to go. Guarantee it. See, told you. This guy's coming down, and uh, we're, we're taking an empty bus around to Kraken Horse. Which is absolutely fine. Um, I keep pressing the S button to center my camera when it's a spacebar. Alright. So this, uh, that stop over there is the end of the line, uh, there's this one and then there's that red bus stop and uh, then it will automatic it should automatically program uh, to say that we're doing the return journey and going back to Bernhoff. Let's just take a look at our time table to make sure we're all on time, yep, okay, okay, okay. And uh, don't think that that's just that mediocre, okay, it's either okay, too early or too late. Uh, there's no good, fantastic or anything like that. Um, it just goes okay, too early or too good, uh, too late. So this op automatically pops up when you complete your route, and now this should uh, the sign on the front should change to Burenhof. Never mind. B A Burenhof. There we go. See, this is all changing to Burenhof now. There we go. And um, we're doing a return journey, so I'm just going to reprogram this just. For reasons. I mean, everyone's getting on anyway, but just, just reasons. Wait. Hang on. Office. Go away. All right. Line zero seven six zero zero. Route zero one. See, it's it's changing to Krakenhof when I I don't want it to change Krakenhof. I want it to go to Burenhof. There we go, let's change the Buren half now, we should do. Change the Buren half. B A. Okay, well something is messing up. Uh don't wanna mess with that. Alright, well people wanna get on anyway, so uh I think they obviously know that we're going to Buren half. And uh, the passengers will say hello when you get when they're getting on the bus, which is quite cool. I'm just waiting for this to change to Burenhof line 
Let's repro from it. We learned something since we were in Hall. Line zero zero six zero zero. Root zero one. See. Damn it. <laughs> Hang on, one, one, seven. There we go. That's what Zegal does. I never usually use it, but uh, it does come into play. See, I, I don't get it. It's it's still uh, it's still uh, only going to um, Kraken Horse, but never mind. We'll just we'll just get on. You see what I mean? That was the end of the route, and that was like such a short route that I am doing the return for me just just to make the video length a little bit longer and a, a little bit more interesting. Now, if you drive too badly, like you brake too suddenly, or you just drive if you go too fast around corners, then the passengers will scream at you and be like, "Bruh, what you doing? I'm gonna get off your bus." I don't know why the lights are on, but never mind. Are you gonna get on, sir? Because if you are, I'll wait for you. If not, then you're a douchebag. Too early. Great. Plan to part. We're four minutes early. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see? Yeah, we should be good now. I think it only says that like, you're too early if you leave like three minutes early. More than three minutes. So, that's okay. So that uh, pedestrian light has changed, which means we should be getting the go ahead soon. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Sorry, bud. I kind of came onto your side of the road a little bit there. Which means I had to overturn. See, as you can see, I am pretty, pretty, pretty darn bad at this game. And uh, hopefully I'm hopefully recording some flight simulator. Um, when I when I actually get into uh, how to do it all and stuff, then I'll I'll, uh, I'll play Flight Simulator X. Sorry guys, I braked a bit too hard apparently. And uh, yeah, if you drive too badly then passengers will get off. And uh, I think that some people just wait at the bus stops for the next bus to come. The AI is so stupid it goes about 3 miles an hour when overtaking buses, if at all. Some some people in the AI just don't even overtake the buses. They just wait behind, make a massive queue. And if you're a couple minutes early then you're just going to have the mass low, like line of traffic because the AI is too stupid to go around you. Even though you've left enough space that another bus could get through. Come on, what did I do bad now? A lot of people are going to get off now, I can just tell. One, two, three. Okay then, not too bad. I mean, I am driving pretty badly. But uh, I'm, I'm still not used to the route. Oh, that's the wrong button. Anyway, this is pretty much the last stop. So everyone, again, everyone is going to get off here because it's the last stop. And uh, very rarely people go up to actually go up to Burenhof. They always stop at the. Uh, they always get off at the stop before. There you go. There's one person I'm taking up to beer and half. So you got all these passengers getting off. And no, it's not because of my bad driving, it's just it's just it just happens. Every single time I do this route, people will just get off at beer and half. Whoa, what are you doing, scumbag? And yeah see that's why I have AI collisions turned off. You can tell that I'm pulling out, yet he still goes plowing through. This is the last stop, so uh, I'm going to get ready to uh, wrap up the video. 
So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this obviously two video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Um, it's not going to be too regular because there's two routes. Uh, well, there's two maps, um, and the rest you have to buy, and there's a crap ton of downloadable content for it. So it's not going to be too regular at all. Um, but uh, I may buy a little bit of downloadable content in the future. I don't want to buy too much of it, just simply because it feels like you've paid for the game and then you're just giving it money, which for stuff that should have been in the game already, which I don't agree with at all. Uh, we were two or two minutes I accelerated time. Damn it, never mind. Um, but yes, never mind. That was obviously two. That was the Grundorf map. Uh, Berlin should be coming soon. But until then, thank you once again, and I'll see you all later.